Hey guys, this is future me after all the events of this video has taken place. Just to let you know, this was purchased with my own money. This wasn't sent out to me or sponsored in any way. So uh, now that we got that out the way, let's get started. What is up guys? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Yeelight YLT D003. I think I got that right. I haven't looked at it in a sec. But anyway, this is from Banggood and this is one of those little monitor lamps you can get for your desk that hangs right off the monitor and is supposed to help optimize your desk space. I recently changed my whole desk setup up. So I got rid of my traditional lamp and instead got a couple other things that I'll probably show in a future video. But yeah, so this hopefully uh, if it works out, this will be the new source of light from my desk and let's just get right to it. Now, to give you guys some backstory on this, the reason why I decided to go with this one over say something like a BenQ or a, uh, what was the other brand I looked up? I forget the other one, but pretty much the only one that was really in competition with this was BenQ. And even though that one was domestic, where this one I had to get it from China and, oh, about that, shipping was surprisingly um, quick. It said it would be about 10 to 14 days, instead it came in a week. Actually, it came in less than a week because I ordered it Monday and it came Saturday. So that was very surprising to me. A little receipt right there. Move that. I must have had great timing. But ultimately, the reason I decided to go with this one was because this is actually Razer Chroma enabled. So I can set this up with my games and stuff. And what can I say? I am. Oops, shouldn't see that. Gotta blur that out just in case. I am a sucker for RGB. So, here's a quick look at the box, straight from China. Oh, whoops, let me give y'all a better look at that right there. See, Take a quick look at this myself. Yep, YLT D003, I gave it an extra zero there. This thing looks pretty cool. I wonder why they don't sell this domestically. I wonder if they can't. Oh, well. Okay. Probably be saving this box. Okay. Okay. These are the instructions that I cannot read. Thank you. God that they gave us illustrations on this that yeah more instructions that I cannot read okay cool cool uh, Android 4.0 that means something okay I'm gonna figure this out at some point okay so I can download the app here that's dope oh, wait so I, can I control this from my phone because that would actually be pretty sick Let's see if I can control that from my phone. I think I can. I'm about to look up mad tutorials online on how to do this. So first things, oh my God, this thing's so weight, uh, heavy. So this is the little base you get. This thing's got some heft to it. Like I thought it was gonna be nice and light. I guess they have to make it balance the light. And uh, I think these are the little magnets slash power ports. Cause I think the light is actually attached magnetically if I'm not mistaken. But yo, this thing has actually got some heft to it. Like you could hurt somebody with that. kind of messed up that the way I decide if something has like quality to it is if I can cause injury to another individual with it. I've noticed that's like a thing with me. I'm working on it, people. <sighs> now I just realized that if I do decide to plastic dip this thing, I'm going to have to hit this too. Mm, that's going to suck. It's probably doable, but I don't even know where to start. Like, Probably not gonna end up plastic dipping this. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. But, oh yeah, duh. That's the little dial so you can control the different uh, settings on it. These are batteries they supply with you. Are those triple A's? Cause that looks smaller than a triple A. Yeah, that's a triple A. I must not have seen triple A's in a minute. And this is the actual light itself. You see it has the lights back here to actually splash 
RGB on the backdrop for you. So uh, I think that whole sentence just sound weird and messed up. Whatever, I'm rolling with it. But anyway, these are the lights to splash an RGB backdrop on whatever surface that's behind the lamp. And this right here is the main light for your desk and everything. These are the little pins that this base attaches to to hook and power it up. Let me give you a, a better look at that. See? So, again, these are the lights that splash RGB colors onto the backdrop of your setup. And this, ugh, this is the main one. I swear I'm going to get this at some point. This is the little E light yoga. Lee, Lee light. This is the little Ye light logo. And I wonder if this is RGB because it looks like that might actually be RGB too. This thing's kind of. Okay, let me stop messing around. Okay, so there's that. And I think there's supposed to be a power plug in here too. I guess it's under all of this. No. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Whew. I was about to freak out. Like, where is my power plug? It's actually right here. I thought that was a part of the little container. A little clever. A little too clever. Now, I did check this before I purchased this because I would hate to get it and not be able to use it, but they do give you a, I'll say, US compatible power adapter so you don't have to worry about that. So you can just plug that right in once you get it. So, uh, we just move all this out the way. I don't see many videos on these, so I figured it'd be awesome to do one and give you guys more of an idea on if you'd like to buy it or not, so you could have more of an informed decision. But pretty much, this is everything you get. They give you the AAA batteries, the dial, the light itself, this awesome heavy base here, and this little power adapter. So, uh... That's pretty much everything. Let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. So as you guys can see, it is now fully set up. Literally, it's like a two minute process hardware wise. You just have the base and then you hook up the light to the base and then you have the power adapter that goes in the back and you're good to go. That being said, the software one was a little more difficult because I didn't really know what to look for at first. But if you go to banggood.com, it actually has the manual in English for you. And I'll also have it linked in the description below if you need that. But it's probably like the quick, less than five minute process once you get the hang of it. You just download the Yee Light app you uh, follow the instructions and you're good to go. Now, you don't need to download that in order to have full functionality of the light. There is one aspect of why I bought this one in particular that you will have to do that for, and that's to hook it up with Razer Chroma so you have that sweet RGB control and synchronization in the back. But say you don't care about RGB and you just wanna get the regular standard version, save a little bit more money. All you need is this thing right here. It's the little pucker dial that comes with it and you have pretty much full control. Just one quick tap to cut the main light on and off. It, normally it's press and hold to cut off the ambient light, but right now I have that hooked up to Razer Chroma, so it's not gonna follow it at all unless I have it. Actually, let me cut that off real quick so I can show y'all. See. So now I've closed that program out. There's a little connector app you need, but I'll get into that later, I guess. But right now, press and hold. It'll cut the ambient light off. Press and hold again to cut all that on. Light tap to cut on the main light. And then you just screw the dial clockwise to make it brighter and counterclockwise to dim it. And uh, it's pretty cool. There's a couple of other things you can do with it. It's like uh, you have to go through the manual for more of the other options, but I think if you double press it, it changes the different modes. So if you press and hold it, it actually changes the color temperature of the light. Um, it ranges from like cool to warm. I don't know the exact Kelvin temperature numbers, but it, you have that wide option. It's uh, actually really cool. And that's a function I can appreciate. 
Again, you have all this functionality in the app also, but again, if you don't want to mess with that because you do have to put in your email address and all that, you might not want to deal with all that. Then you got the puck right here. You can save some money and just go with the standard version in that case. Um, now, if you do want the razor functionality of it, check this out. So I think the best way I can convey the vibrancy of this light is by mentioning that these two lights right here are actually LifeX bulbs and they're both splashing on here. And when you cut this one off, you can definitely tell that there's something missing to like give that full just splashing effect on the back wall here. I feel like I can't really convey it that well in video. So I just wanted to let you know that, but I'll give it a shot anyway. Another thing I want to mention about it, you have this nice little groove right here on the side that is actually so you can adjust the light by 25 degrees I believe I'm not exactly sure why you might need to I'm pretty sure there's a good reason for it I just haven't figured it out yet I like the functionality though I guess the one downside to it if you want to consider it so is uh, the fact that since it is magnetic and you are able to move it like this is that this doesn't really seem very stable it does seem pretty wobbly but that's only if you mess with it i can't imagine this thing coming off easily unless like you knock your desk or you just violently fall into your setup in which case you have a bunch of other problems <laughs> than the light so there's that oh yeah one thing i do have to mention though is that if you're the type that has your webcam set up on your monitor you're gonna have to x that out that's got to go somewhere else because I have mine off to the side here and there is no way I can place it there it, it would get blocked by the light anyway. It's not that big deal for me because I really haven't used this webcam in a minute. I usually just use my phone for all my webcam videos and I have this nice little adjustable arm back here where I can just move it above the light. So yeah, that doesn't really hurt me at all. But if you're the type of person that still uses your webcam on top of your monitor, something you definitely want to think about you might have to relocate it if you're considering this option as far as the main light goes i feel like it does get bright enough to where i don't really need any other light source on here i mean i'm happy i have the ambient lighting in the back to help complement it but as far as like something you want to get work done on i feel like this is good enough like i'm used to having super bright lamps off to the side of me and to be honest with you they were a bit of an eyesore this is a nice little middle ground and now that i think about it the fact that you can move this 25 degrees means that if I want to adjust this to kind of get out of my face and stop being a little bit rough, I can do that. So there we go. Just like that, I found a reason to adjust it. Um, so I kind of like that functionality. So for my first impressions of the E-Light monitor lamp, very easy to set up. Very bright for a monitor light that doesn't take up any space on your desk. Also a bonus. And... RGB plus razor connectivity. Yeah, for 90 bucks, I would recommend that. I will definitely be wanting to give you a more long-term review of it, but if you're in the if you're in the market for a monitor lamp and you are in the budget of $100, then this is definitely something to look at compared to the Ben Q one. If that's a little bit too much, you can get other ones like this for like 40 bucks on Amazon, if that's something you might be interested in. I don't think you'll get the wireless dial or anything, but you might be able to find one under 100 that does that if you don't care about the RGB and all that. Another thing, this was technically shipped from overseas. I don't know how I got it so fast, but you might have to wait 10 to 14 days to get it, depending on where you live, according to Banggood. So there's that also, if you're not comfortable with that. That is also something to think about. Another thing is support. I'm pretty sure once you purchase this, if anything goes left, you're on your own. Because I think because this is a product that can mainly be purchased in China and is marketed for China, you're giving that up. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it's a lamp. So if I can get at least two years of use out of it, I'll be extremely happy. See, 50 bucks per year, I'll take it. Shoot. But this is freaking awesome to me. Like, I'm... I'm so hyped right now that I have like a decent RGB setup. So guys, that's pretty much it for this first impressions. Like always, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think about it. Is 100 bucks too much? Do you think it's pretty good for what you're getting compared to what's out there? I'm definitely interested in hearing what you guys think about it, as always. Uh, this is Type Zero Tech signing out, everyone. Thanks for watching. Peace. Sweet, so